Hey, I am Damien Gorbar, and today I'm here with Dr. Steve Ralphs, who just finished training a session, and I just got my brand new certificate as a strategic play facilitator for Lego Serious Play. Okay, I learned it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, Steve, would you like to share with people what is Lego Serious Play? Because some of my colleagues, some of my friends, uh, they don't know much about how Lego can be used, not only in terms of like, like uh, some of the kids play, but adults can use Lego to learn and to develop and to grow and to think strategically. So can, for people who are not familiar with Lego Serious Play, can you explain them what is it? Sure, absolutely. Uh, so Lego Serious Play uses Lego bricks. It's a methodology where you're able to use these bricks to unlock creativity, uh, greater collaboration with teams. Um, you're able to use these bricks as metaphors. You're building models and you're talking about different topics. It can range from anything from teams to coaching to conflict resolution, strategy. So you're able to use these bricks to have deeper conversations and to really unlock creativity. Now, sometimes there are some misunderstanding about Lego. Like when I have a colleague of mine who talked to me first about it, I thought, well, this is more about creativity. I'm not very creative. I don't know if I like it. So, so what would you say for people who may think that? Well, first, uh, there is the myth that only certain people are creative. Mm -hmm. And that's what the beauty of Lego Series Play is it really debunks that myth that we're all creative. We all have creative potential. And through different ex exercises and activities, you're able to see how you can unlock that creative potential through the, the various activities and challenges. So typically you'll have a question that a facilitator will um, ask you and you're actually having to build your answer, which is very different because we live in a world where it's all about talking as auditory. Uh, you know, you have to tackle the conflicts in the company and organization just by talking through it. Where Lego Serious Play takes uh, the kinesthetic approach and you're actually building and discussing topics using bricks. So. Yeah, so for some people, like uh, I know in therapy or the coaching, uh, some people don't feel so comfortable talking about things. Mm -hmm. Maybe instead of uh, having to communicate uh, by just thinking and talking through, uh, body, through body work and through the hands, they can come up with things that maybe um, is very different than if have to have just a conversation. Absolutely. How, how would you differentiate that? Well, see, so language is very limiting, right? So um, when you're actually using bricks, you're, you're tapping into your, your brain and you're using its, its hand knowledge. Uh, so it's 3D thinking. So you're actually being able to make different connections while you're building and that new insights can pop in, in that kind of manner where as language, it's, it's so just, it's, it doesn't go to the depth you can if you're actually building something and then you're able to share your story afterwards. And a lot of times what happens is that after you build your model and you're sharing your story, you get new insights as you're sharing your story. So it, it, it's definitely a strong tool. Yes, I had an experience myself at the conference mm -hmm. uh, using um, Legos for supervision. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed it so much that I thought that can be a good resource for me to work with my clients. So that's the reason why I came and, and I did the certification. So for people who are not familiar with uh, Lego Series Play, anything else that you think they may need to know or they may benefit from learning about it, how to use yeah. Lego for learning and development and teamwork and team building and strategic thinking. Yeah. Well, I think one of the things that's, I mean, it's an agnostic tool, so you can use it in a variety of different uh, contexts, a variety of different industries, a variety of different domains. And uh, what's powerful about it is it helps people um, engage with topics at a deeper level. So you're able to uh, encourage people to take more risks. Uh, and it's a lot about storytelling. So you're able to, to build something and, and sharpen your storytelling skills. Um, and what, what I love about this methodology is everybody has an opportunity to share and everybody is heard. And that, that builds a culture, when you, especially when you're dealing with teams, where when people are sharing and they feel heard and seen, then it opens up a culture where people are willing to take risks. And that makes a situation very ripe for innovation, which every company needs to pay attention to these days. So. Well, thank you very much. I yeah, really appreciate you. your time. I yeah. think that that would be great for people to learn more about it. And if they want to learn more, where, yeah. would, where is the website? Where they should you go? You can go to strategicplay.com. 
and right. on that website a lot of testimonials case studies uh, if somebody wanted to register for certification in a variety of different tracks uh, everything from teams and groups to advanced strategy to storytelling coaching they can go on there and look at all the different locations uh, strategic plans training around the world um, so various times so very convenient great thank you thank you for the time